Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JE and NEET resource at your fingertips. Now, take a look at this actual JE question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To know the best way to solve this question, continue watching this video. Let us study about equation of continuity. Equation of continuity expresses the law of conservation of mass in fluid dynamics. In general, the mass of the liquid entering here. Suppose the area of cross section of this part is A1 and velocity of the liquid is V1. Now this is streamlines which are shown at point B. The area becomes more. Area is A2. Let us consider the speed as V2. Then this product of area of cross section and velocity must be always constant. This is called equation of continuity and states that as the area of cross section of the tube of flow becomes larger, the liquid fluid speed becomes smaller and vice versa. The equation of continuity expresses the law of conservation of mass in fluid dynamics. A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. In general, A into V should be constant. This is called equation of continuity and states that as the area of cross section of the tube of flow becomes larger the fluid speed will become smaller and vice versa. Velocity of liquid is greater in narrow tube as compared to velocity of liquid in broad tube. Deep waters run slow due to explain from the equation of continuity A1 into V1. Where water is deep the cross sectional area increases hence the velocity decreases. These are some of the illustration where it shows A1 V1 should be equal to A2 V2. Area of cross section into velocity must be always equal. So product of A1 V1 should be equal to A2 V2. This is also called law of conservation of mass in case of fluid dynamics. Let us study about Bernoulli's theorem. Now I have shown you a streamline here in the figure. Point A and point B with respect to horizontal surface are at height of h1 and h2. Area of cross section of point A is a1 and B is a2. Velocity at this point is v1. Velocity at this point is v2. The streamline flows like this. Pressure at this point is p1. Pressure at this point is p2. Bernoulli's theorem states that the sum of pressure energy, kinetic energy and potential energy per unit mass is always constant for an ideal incompressible non-viscous fluid moving in a streamlined flow. That is the kinetic energy per unit mass, potential energy per unit mass and the pressure energy per unit mass at point A and at point B should be equal. It states that the sum of pressure energy, kinetic energy and potential energy per unit mass is always constant for an ideal incompressible and non-viscous fluid having streamlined flow that is at any point p by rho pressure energy per unit mass kinetic energy per unit mass half v square plus potential energy per unit mass g h must be constant so Bernoulli's theorem states that the sum of pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy per unit mass is always constant for an ideal incompressible and non-viscous fluid flowing in a streamlined motion so p by rho plus half e square plus g h must be equal to constant. So that means the pressure by density at point A plus half of v square at point A plus g h at point A should be equal to that of pressure energy per unit mass plus kinetic energy per unit mass plus the potential energy per unit mass at point B. I hope you can now answer the question. Take a look at the solution here. Hit the bell icon below to subscribe to the Learnpedia channel and to learn more through more such interesting videos. Use the comment section below to post your feedback, questions or queries. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.